How's it going guys? It's been a while. Um, so I'm back here with a new project that I've been having to put off because of school. So basically what I have here is what I'm deeming the Octo Server. Ooh, yeah. um, so basically what I have for a setup is you're going to have your Raspberry Pi in here. I don't have mine here right now because I'm using it to print stuff at the moment. Uh, your breadboard and then just a, a relay uh, setup. This one's an 8 channel relay. So the primary purpose I want this to serve is for me to be able to turn printers on and off, turn lights and fans on and off, and anything else I can think of. Um, one thing I really want to add to my printers, which I'm working on right now with the Rostock from CME CNC, uh, I got their files off of GitHub, the uh, EZR extruder, Easy extruder, and I edited it, the edited the file so that there is a filament runout sensor at the top. I haven't been able to test it yet, but that's another um, configuration I want to integrate into this. Um, but mainly I just want it to be all nice and tidy and that's why I created it. So uh, I put it up on my Thingiverse about a week ago and it seems pretty popular. Um, I guess popular in relation to my other designs. But anyhow, um, it's gotten like 60-ish downloads as of now and like 500 views. So people seem to like it. <clears throat> uh, I've, I haven't seen anyone make it yet, but I'm sure it'll happen sometime. So um, yeah, why don't we go over the design real quick. Alright, so here we have our relays. Um, I guess that's pretty obvious, but I labeled them so when I go to assign relays to different things, I don't mix them up. Uh, just makes it easier that way. This is a 5 volt or 3.3 volt breadboard power supply. Um, I've opted to do this uh, over than over than over running a 5 volt line or two from the Raspberry Pi because I don't want to burn it out and there's no way it's going to power this whole thing. So I've opted for a separate setup. Um, trying to figure out if there's a better way than this bulky board here, but I haven't researched it a whole lot. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. But basically what this board is going to allow us to do is mainly power our relay board. And if I wanted to, I could really do a GPIO breakout out here and do that. But I'll probably just go straight to the Pi with these cords. But these are going to, again, control. I'll probably have like 1 and one and 2 or 1 and 4 or 5. I don't, I don't know yet. But uh, controlling the printer's power supply. So the power cord coming in. And then I'll have fans or lights or whatever on the other setup. The filament runout sensor, those wires are going to have to be really long. Um, so I haven't, I haven't quite figured out that system yet, but I plan to. Alright, so here's our 8 channel relay uh, board. The main modification I had to do with this is these holes. I had to move them. I did that in Inventor. I uh, exported this as a step file, but um, when I first printed uh, V1 right here, um, the holes did not line up for the the uh, bottom part. These were not in the same area. And so you can see the difference I made between this version and this version with... Let me turn this off for a second. Okay, so basically what I did is I added this section on for the cable clamps. And then these standoffs were um, modified as well. And I also made this bigger because I got the official Raspberry Pi power supply because I was having problems with it um, just on a standard phone charger one, which was kind of a no-no. I was just kind of holding it out. But anyhow, um, so basically these are for your wires. Um, everything's pretty neat and laid out. I have all the cutouts, um, so everything clears fine. I've already tested it with the V1. Um, so yeah. Well guys, hope you enjoyed the video. This is just an introduction to the project. Uh, it'll probably be about a three part series or so. Um, the next one will probably be on the wiring. Uh, it's pretty simple. It's just a jumper from the GPIO to the, the board and then assigning it 
in Octoprint. So I'll have all the video on that and how to do so. So then pretty much from there, it's a um, setup for your yourself. You can edit it how you want, add things on it um, as you please. But this is just a project I wanted to share with you guys and uh, get out there. So yeah, see you next time. Thank you.